Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today in our first video we're gonna talk about three MetaMask alternatives. If you're in the crypto space you surely know what MetaMask is. It's the main wallet app to access DeFi but there are tons of problems with MetaMask. It's usually slow, buggy and doesn't have too many features. Today we're gonna talk about Rabi, Avocado and Zengo. Those are three really different wallets that have tons of features directly built in. They are basically different because Rabi it's an extension, browser extension. You can see it there where you can have both MetaMask connections or other wallets like um, other wallets, maybe a ledger, a trezor. You can connect your mobile wallet or you can connect your institutional wallet like safe, etc. You can also have some wallets that you're watching. They are not wallet where you sign in, but the wallet they, where you can watch their transaction balance. Ravi Wallet has tons of different features, like a swap feature where you can swap tokens from, I don't know, Ethereum to Wrapped Ethereum on the Optimist chain directly on the Rabi extension. You can of course send money and receive money. You can also whitelist some addresses. Also you can see all your NFTs. You can see all your transactions. Stay safe guys, those are scam and are everywhere. My main wallet are like 10, 12 a day. You can do a gas top up, so if you are in a chain for the first time, like I don't know, Avalanche, but you don't have Avax tokens and you don't want to withdraw from a centralized exchange like Binance, you can top up with uh, different chains like Ethereum or Bitroom Base, and you can do directly on your account. So you can top up the Avax chain, which may be arbitrary. Also, you can remove any approval. You can see that by contracts or by address. You should do this like once a month, once every three weeks, maybe. It's a security measure. If you revoke the access to your wallet token in a case of a rug or something like that, they can't steal your money. The other wallet I want to talk about is Avocado and it's connected to Rabi because if you want an Avocado wallet that is a, a smart wallet, so it uses account abstraction, you need another wallet to create an account. So I sign out for you. You need to connect a MetaMask, a Wallet Connect or every other wallet. I usually do this. I have a MetaMask account on my phone. I connect it to Rabi and I use Rabi to connect to my Avocado wallet. Avocado has tons of features, but the main one of smart accounts in general is that you don't need chain-specific token to pay for transaction. You can top up USDC from tons of different chains and use only USDC to make transactions. So if I need to make a transaction on Polygon, for example, I can use normal USDC that I topped up from I don't know, Arbitrum or maybe Optimism. You can see your balance. You will receive another address uh, for your Avocado wallet. You can see your DeFi protocols, mainly the ones with the most trivial like Aave, MakerDAO, etc. You can also see your NFTs, your contacts, and your history in the Avo scan. It's like Ethereum scan, but for Avocado, for the Avocado chain. And also you can build transactions for every chain that is supported. Another cool feature is the multi-signature account that every Avocado wallet have. And what is a multi-sig account? Is an account where you need two or more people to sign in for every transaction you make. So if you are an institution and your wallet is under like four or five people, all of them or some of them you can decide, like maybe four out of five, three out of five, need to sign the transaction to accept the, the movement of crypto. So there you can establish your signers, in this case, three out of three, and you can clone your S16 safe. I will do a video about safe agnostic chain because I think it's really interesting and it's like a pathway to more institutional investors, so people who have tons of money and don't want to be hacked. The last one I want to talk about is Zengo. I really like Zengo and I'm also one of their ambassadors. But why I like Zengo? Mainly because it's a mobile-based app. It has integrated tons of security features like face recognition and other factor authentication. And it also has legacy transfer. So 
If one day I'll, I don't know, go hit by a truck, my brother that I assigned as a legacy beneficiary will have my wallet without any drugs. The real key benefit of Zengo is that it doesn't need secret passphrases like every other wallet. It stores it directly on a Google Drive. So you can forget about uh, your secret phrases and have your wallet wherever you need it. It supports different chains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, uh, etc. But it doesn't have any layer 2 for now, so no optimism, no arbitrum. But probably it will support it in the future. So I think that Zengo is the best wallet to start in crypto. It's easy to use, has a wonderful UI and a nice user experience. So if you are new to crypto, I advise you to use this wallet. But in general, Remember that to choose your wallet, your favorite protocol, don't listen to only, I don't know, one or two people on the internet because crypto, it's a wonderful place, but it's not very safe. So doing your research became like a mantra. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite wallet uh, or if you find this video useful. If you want to know more about crypto, I'll post maybe once or twice a week about protocols and tools I like and also maybe some news, some interesting news. For now, that's all. Stay happy and wealthy.